Greetings and welcome back to Mega Aquarium. I'm Catherine of Sky and I'm so excited we're playing the fish game again. Oh yes, this is good. Oh, don't go in there. That's not good. Uh, yeah, yeah, you just go back. Anyway, last time we were getting to do stuff. Um, we need to build another big tank to get a disco mushroom, a protein skimmer, sufficient lighting and water quality and all the things um soon so what i was doing is kind of walling off this area so we don't let our guests come back here and then kind of build outward from there um a lot of the tanks and stuff need a lot of space as you can see for the various machines that keep them kind of operational uh, and functioning uh, with filtering and the heating so i want to make sure that we have plenty of space for that stuff so let's go ahead and keep designing uh this area to do that Let's pause the game here. And I just kind of want to add space. We really need lots of space. Let's just go this way. Let's go all the way down here and then just kind of like freely shove in some aquariums here where we think we might want them. So this is the old door. That's actually a good spot to maybe have a space where people can just uh, walk by. So I think let's go and look at our tank selection. What we have here could have either a basic tank or a lagoon tank. Those guys are, I think, oh yeah, they could be really big. Um, and basic tank is quite small and it's, uh, wait, the lagoon, is that actually deeper? Oh yes, it actually goes into the floor. It's so deep. So that's kind of a cool thing. Um, or we could do an observer tank or a wall tank uh, either way. We could do a few tanks that are um, just having one fish each in them. That's another okay thing to do. What we want to do is if we're going to have the door here, that's going to be a walking pathway. So if we put this tank over here, we're going to need to have some space to put the machines on the side. So let's go ahead and put one here and possibly one over here. Um, or we could join them together, I suppose. And, um, oh, we can't place them there. Never mind. Um, but we can put them here and actually share one of these combi things. Uh, that might actually be a really good idea. So let's go and put these walls this way. And we'll put a wall in here. So the idea is that people can walk around and even in between these guys so they can get their best view of the fishes. So let's go ahead and uh, move this outward. We want to have a little bit more space to see stuff. And we'll get the rest of this in a little bit. But we do want to go and uh, get some peeps here. So uh, let me let me get a thingy majingy power combi. Yep. Okay, I think can we do it for both? Ah, no, we have to link it to one or the other. That's okay. Let's start on the left. And that's just fine. And then we can have another over here. Perfect. Uh, and we just actually, we may not even need something that big. Actually, let's go ahead and uh, delete these guys. We can probably do a small combi, like a combi mini here. Yeah, there we go. Yep, that will work quite easily for very small uh, tanks here. So let's see what we can put in these tanks. These guys are, let's see, 15, size 15. So you can put uh, a few small fish in there. These are very, very nice. Okay. Well, this is nice. It shows you how many you have in your aquarium. Isn't this great? This is fantastic. Okay. So it looks like we don't have any red tailed butterfly fish. Um, they are not happy with stony corals, clams, or gargonians. So I think we'll go ahead and just put those in by themselves. Now they have a water quality of 65 that they need. Let's see, is that enough? Two, three, doesn't seem to have changed the water quality. That's a good thing. Um, that's fine. And they are not ones that grow, so we don't have to worry about them possibly escaping the tank and running around biting people, the flying biting fish, all that kind of stuff. And <laughs> just kidding. Anyway, um, we could do a shoal of fish in another one, like half and half chromies over here. That might be kind of fun to put in there, depending on what we need. It looks like we might need science points rather than more um, ecology points. But then again, we have lots and lots of ecology items to do and not so many science ones to do. So let's go ahead and get the half and half chromies uh, stuck in over here. One, two, three, four. They like to be in a shoal, remember? 
So they're quite happy being uh, quite a few of them in there. Whoops, looks like our water quality on this went way, way low. So we're going to move this guy. So I think, oh, no, that one's also too low. I don't know if you saw that little flicker of stuff. Um, let's see, go away this. I love how this is, these guys always just like, they move around these little menus and stuff. It's pretty darn cool. Uh, okay, so this we need to definitely trade for a bigger one because I kind of underestimated that a bit. Sometimes it's kind of hard to, to figure these things out. And it just takes kind of, um, you know, trial and error in a lot of cases. Okay, so what do we need here? We need, I guess, nothing. They're not needing anything specific. So we can just put any decorations that we want. So I often like to put the Driftwood Cave or the Rocky Overhang because that's nice and big points for us. And so that we can be humane, we definitely need some sea lettuces or some, some kind of plants to make our fish feel nice and comfortable uh, because they are, they are living creatures. We want them to feel good. Then we need some, some other things like a conch shell. Um, I like these other shells too. Those are fun. I think they're very cool looking. Um, so then these fish in the shoal can like hide in here and swim about. Oh, it's so nice. Okay, so these guys are ready to be Dunward. Dunward? Is that a word? That's not a word. Dunward is officially not a word. Just letting you know. <laughs> anyway, I think this actually might be a good spot for a door. So let me take that off and put in a staff door right there. And we're going to eliminate this wall as well because that we don't need. And we can just let people wander around freely kind of in this area here. So let's just add this and make it a nice big area where they can walk and do stuff. And maybe even add some benches out here. That could be fun. Like in front of this so they could like look at these things, you know. Uh, and then maybe over here as well. Put a bin in the middle there, I think. Get a bin here, excuse me. Bin, and then here, I wanna get the fizzy drink machine. Fizzy drinks machines are awesome. They're good. Well, I mean, I don't know if they're awesome, but they're pretty darn good. There's also a really nice, ah, oh, disco mushroom animals unlocked. Yes. Shall we go for the lionfish? I think we should. Most corals, including the disco mushroom, need light to supplement their food. You'll need to add a light to each tank that contains corals. The cost of the light is proportional to the uh, size of the tank, so smaller lights are cheaper to light. Smaller tanks are cheaper to light up. Okay, great. Okay, now these people are going to look at all the fishies. Oh my god. Where we're sprouting all of these ecology points. It's great. I also like this button. Close all windows. That's so good. You don't even have to click them. But even if you have a 10 million windows open like this, look at how neatly they arrange themselves over here. And if you get rid of one, they pop into an order of different kinds. I love this. I love this feature. It's so good. Um, it's the UI in this game. It's really nice. I have to say, I've played a lot of games. And I know my UIs, and this is really nice. I, there are a couple of items that are um, I have suggestions for, but overall, the UI in this game is so friendly, and it's um, very um, what do you call it? Intuitive. That's the word. Very, very nice. So, anyway, you can see the people walking in in between these tanks. They're all looking at them. They're having a great time checking them out. Really need more science points to get this thing going on. Yeah, we need to generate, we're getting plus 127, I guess, per day, maybe uh, for a total of 600 that we need. So we're going to have to build quite a big tank for all of these things, I think. Sufficient water quality and heating and stuff and things, all the things and all the stuff. Um, I think probably we'll add our next tanks on this side, maybe? I don't know. Let's see. Wait, I want that protein skimmer. Come on, protein skimmer. Give it here. I need it. Um, let's see, does it say? I can kind of see the shadow of the bar, maybe to here, unless I'm like, I think, yeah, it is, it is. But I think those build up at each day and then you get them kind of at the end. I think we need more feeders though. We only have two staff members. Um, all right, you're a fixer. Let's see if we can find any feeders. 
You're a feeder. Fixing, feeding. Let's buy feeding three person. Hello. Yep. Come and feed fish, please. Yeah, it's kind of interesting that we don't have any cleaner people or we only have one person that does all the jobs. Um, so it's like, okay, we need to, that's kind of scary. We need to get past this. Uh, but all right, so let's go ahead and we can maybe pause the game. Actually, I don't want, I really don't like pausing the game, to be honest, because it feels kind of unnatural to me, though I love that we can pause the game. It's good. Uh, should we do a lagoon tank? I'm wondering if we should, like, put it out here somewhere, maybe? The, I don't know, the area on the pumps is not uh, very long. That's the only issue with that. Maybe we should just do regular tanks around here. Go ahead and add some more um, space. Just need to figure out how how we want to do this maybe i'll just add a wall over here like that and then we can grab all of these people and kind of like you know get a crane and put them into place there oh i'm so tired yes i know what you're saying go i know how it is okay so that that will solve this problem for now let's go ahead and add more area and then this oh there's our protein skimmer Oh, there are more things. Okay, large heater and large filter. Uh, I guess filter probably is more uh, useful to us. You've just unlocked the protein skimmer. Filtering alone isn't enough to reach the high quality, uh, high qu high water qualities that required by corals and delicate fish. You need protein skimming too. Add one to your disco mushroom tank and see the difference in water quality compared to filtering alone. Yeah, let's look at that. Let's let's check that out. I am very curious as to how that will affect things. Okay, let's go this way and add more there. Boom. Now we've spent all the money, which is not great, but it's okay. We will have something to show for it. What I could do is I could do a lagoon tank right here. I just add it this way. Like that. And then move it this way, like here, and then people can look at it if they want to, and then just have walls behind it if we need to. So, okay, let's see. We can, um, what is the water quality? Okay, we have, <laughs> requires water quality of zero. Yeah. Uh, I guess we'll start with a disco mushroom in here. Uh, how much are these guys? So here we go with disco mushrooms. Soft coral, avoid placing with tank mates, which are danger to soft corals. This animal eats zooplankton every two days. So the, we have to buy another type of food. Needs light, requires a tank with five or more lights. Wow, that's a lot of lights. Oh, well, it's lighting power, I guess. So let's go ahead and put down one or two of these guys here. Okay. Um, we need 70 water quality right now. It's zero. So let me go ahead and put down, um, maybe one of these for now. Let's see. Here's one. Okay. That's 40 of 88. Wow. No. Oh my God. I don't have enough money. No, this is very bad. We might have to sell these guys. You know what? I'm going to sell them both because we can't. We really need to have more money to get this up and running. So let's go ahead and fast forward a bit. And I will also grab uh, food. Let's buy the food dispenser. Um, yeah, capacity for 200 zooplankton refilled at the beginning of each day. A full refill costs $100. So all of this does cost us money, all of these different things. Wow, we need somebody to fix stuff too. This is not... Oh, we got a Volatans lionfish. That sounds great. Uh, let's get the panther grouper. Okay, there we go. We need money. Come on, people. Give us money. Money, money. Drink soft drinks. Drink all you can. The fizzy drinks. Yes. It's nice. It's good. It's a thing. I really would like some more money. Uh, we get 5000 for building the first coral. But man, it's going to be kind of expensive, I think. Let's get this protein skin. Well, we can't get it right now. I think we made, we might've made this lagoon tank a little bit too big, just a little bit. 
Um, <laughs> you never can tell though. Okay, so let's go ahead and get a power filter. Might just want to do these um, kind of uh, alone, uh, on their own kind of thing. There we go. Let's get Disco Mushrooms to add two of these guys. Okay, and then we'll see. We're at 78 of 70, but we need heat. We'll add these heating thingy majingies. Heating, heating. Hello. Power heater. Yep. One and two. Leave a little bit of a spot for them to come in to put in food. Ah, but we need another heater. So can we put this here? Yes, we can. How nice. Okay, and we need a zooplankton. Let's go ahead and grab a box of that. There we go. Nice. All right, and then we need five. Not sufficiently lit. Our corals are gonna die if we don't have the lamps. So let's make sure that we can have lamps here. Floor arrows, that's nice. Um, let's check out the, f ah, basic lights. There we go. So how do we wanna add these guys? Not enough money. That's not ideal, guys. Oh no. How do I add these? I'm sure I have enough. Oh, 671 for basic lights. Okay. It's cost 671. Let's go. 402. Come on, come on, come on. We do this. Fine. The zooplankton are not doing well, but they shouldn't die before the next day. And I'm sure we can get enough money until the next day. I think we'll be okay. Like, not horrible. Well-ish. <laughs> we, we also had to pay for a bunch of stuff. Oh my god, wow. Okay. Oh no, we're just seeing the amounts of light the other tanks need, which is not much. Okay, the zoo plant, oh, these guys are not doing well. Let's add this. Oh wow. Okay, hello. That's nice. Okay, great. We have five out of five. Great. So they're pretty happy at the moment. Yep, there they are. Completely green. Um, great. Now these guys... They do have a bit of draw. Oh yes, they are generating 22 science points uh, each, or well, for the whole tank, I guess. Um, looks okay for now. I guess we can let people come in here. Uh, I just wanna be kind of careful. Let's just do the wall there. And then we can just delete this wall here. That should be fine. There we go. And so people can see our wonderful disco mushrooms, which are under the spotlight. Uh, but at least we're getting some points here for level four. We don't have no idea what level four numbers are going to be. I believe this is like a daily, like how much you can generate daily. Uh, it doesn't add up, I don't think. It's just how much is an average per day kind of thing. Okay. We are getting... More fish. Okay, there's some. Ooh, they look cool. Wow. Those are actually quite cool. Those um, those fish. Nice. Oh, new animals unlocked. Okay. Let's go for the line uh these other ones. Yeah, we'll go for the other ones. Mm-hmm. Alright, let's go and figure out what other fish we want to add here. We have let's see. Panther grouper. Okay. These go seven to fourteen. Wow. That's a lot. So how much um, water quality? We have 78 water quality. Remember it asked us to go and look at what the protein skimmer does. Let's go ahead and check that out. So it's at 78. And if we add the protein skimmer, there you go. Wow, it's 96. That is amazing. Congratulations on obtaining your first coral. The collector is currently compiling a wish list of what they want for the aquarium. In the meantime, you should continue to unlock new animals and equipment and try to progress to rank 5. As you expand your aquarium, it becomes easy for some tanks to get missed by your guests. You can get feedback on this via the view rate overlay, toggled using the button in the top right of the screen. Okay, so let's look at that. The view rate overlay. This probably being the first one, it might actually be useful, yes. Okay, so these are at 86%, this is 33%, but we just opened this one here. What I think I would like to do is get some floor arrows and go all the way around once we get an all the way around thing so that people don't miss things uh, and stuff like that. Could be nice. But these are going up. They are going up. 78%. 
Yeah, all right, so that's nice. Wow, we have $6,000. What shall we spend it on? Hmm, I think we might need some fish. All right, build a deep wall tank. All right, what do we got with this? Do we have, we have no numbers. Come on, give us numbers. Um, do we get that unlocked? Lagoon. Um, hmm. Adjacent platform at correct height. Stairs connected to floor. Any animal, water, and stuff. Right. So they don't care about this tank anymore. Like, yeah, that's like yesterday's news. It's not even a thing. Now then, let's go ahead and build, build some fish. Yes. Um, what do you, you guys? Scavengers. But they do add to the ecology rating rather substantially. Let's add one more of these guys. Okay. And we will add maybe two of them. I'm thinking. Okay. Uh, and let's go. One thing that I'm finding difficult with this, with the UI, just a minor thing. So you can't really see it very well in the background. It just disappears on the light colored floor tiles. I found that also on the blue colored floor tiles as well. Um, all right. So let's see. I want to add, okay, go back to the fish land. Fish land. Oh yeah. Lionfish. Do you guys eat corals? All right. May eat or damage fish with size two or less and crustaceans. Right. We already just put some crustaceans in there. So this is not for us. Okay. Three. Okay. How about you guys? You will. Yeah. You eat crustaceans too. Nice. You don't like lights. Three, eight. Wow. I'm thinking I should just take the light, take the crustaceans out of here. All right. These are, hmm. This animal eats mussels. You have lots of science generated by you. I'm thinking I'll take the crustaceans out because it's kind of like they are not really wanted by any of the other fish. Just take these guys out. This is a way of selling fish. Just kind of bulldoze them. It's kind of an interesting uh, method. <laughs> All right, Greedy eats 33% more food and creates 33% more waste for its size. Isn't that nice? All right, these are gonna go to 11. So we need to add per fish, we need to add five. Of course, we could always wait till the, the tank gets over full and then move them, but I prefer not to. One, two. So we're going to add 10. So that's actually 22. Um, so we're adding 10. What about you again? Red tailed butterfly fish. Panther. Yeah. Let's take you. Greedy again. Cave lovers. Mussels. Wow. We're going to add 14 to this one. So we need to add 24 to this number. So that's going to be at 50 of 88. This tank generates a huge amount of science points, 131 science points. This is amazing. Uh, okay, so we need to add 20, what was it again? 24, 28? I don't know, I don't remember. Um, what about you? Hmm. Kind of want some ecology points in this tank as well. You dislikes food competitors. You, you eat green. What do they eat in this tank over here? Does it say? Okay, can I move this window? Yes, I can. Thank you very much. You eat red. You have, oops, hold on. Organize windows. Thank you. Panther grouper. You eat also red. Um, and these guys eat pink, red, red, pink. So you eat green. Okay, so I guess we can, uh, we can get you going. One, two. I think that's enough. I think, I think we're safe here. And it's uh, we can add more when all the other things are. Yeah, it's fine. Wow, uh, we're at sixty-nine of seventy water quality. That's not ideal. We probably need another, uh, maybe another protein skimmer. Let's see. There we go. Disappeared immediately. Let us go ahead and add our decorations and stuff. We need to get a rocky overhang because we desperately need lots and lots of places for our fish to live. This is kind of cool because you see how it goes into the floor here. It's very handy. Uh, okay, and then we have that. Do we need any plants? Any plants? Kelp, yes. We shall take some kelp. 
We need zero plants, but we can add some anyway. Okay, um, what else? Oh, we can do an anchor, why not? There's bound to be some boats floating around in the middle of the city, sort of <laughs> running aground in our aquarium, as ironic as that may seem, but it is the truth, it happens. Okay, barrels can go there, have a conch shell, maybe a regular shell over here. I don't know if it's important like to cover the entire floor of the aquarium, but I do know that in real life, fish do like things to play with. Ooh, large filter done. Oh, deep wall tank. We'll take it. Thank you. And I wonder if adding benches will improve things. I don't know. It might. It might not. Uh, we'll just add them here anyway. Put them... See, these are one, two from here. One, two. I kind of want to put it there-ish. One, two... Okay, I think that's good. I just want to add some drinks machines. And then we'll add also the bins. Okay, at the beginning of each day, wow, full refill costs 120. We probably need to reduce the number of fizzy drinks machines. Let's see, daily profit 72. So we might want to get rid of a few of them. You're 27 and 18. I think we'll get delete one of these guys. Let's delete this one, since there's one on the left already. We will definitely delete this one. All right, new day. We got stuff. Yeah, we got viewed things. All the things are getting viewed. Exit. Wow. Yeah, we gotta unlock that deep wall tank. But this is looking good. We are getting a ton of points. Which uh, we need to figure. I need to figure out how to see the next rank. We must. We must. Previous rank or prestige rank? No, I thought it said previous. Oh, there we go. Looking really good. People are like, "Hey, look at the new disco corals. Those are cool, aren't they? They are awesome, indeed. I agree. I completely agree." Deep wall tank already done. Large heater. Yeah, you've just unlocked deep tanks. Deep tanks require platforms at the back for your staff to access them for feeding. Build platforms with the platform tool found in the top left. Platforms require stairs to connect them to the ground. Build stairs with the stair tool, also found in the top left. That sounds pretty cool. We could do a... That's like this one, actually. A deep tank. Um, what is that looking like? Like, how can we... Oh, deep corner tank, wall tank, and observer tank. So this is an observer tank, I guess. See how this fits. Yeah, basically you observe from the front there. Longhorn cowfish. All right, we can... Oh my god, I didn't want to do that. No, 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 no. Delete, delete, delete. I didn't really want you there. Sorry. Uh, we could do a wall tank on this side, though. But I think it's going to have to wait until the next episode because um, we're actually out of time. But anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. I hope you're enjoying the fish as much as I am because it's such a cool game. I, let me turn it on regular speed so I don't forget for next time. But yeah, look at these happy, happy critters. We could actually, I wonder if we can put walls between here like this. Can we do that? Ah, uh, yes, I think we might be able to. Yay! On that way, the um, people will have a nicer view of stuff instead of, of uh, the other people. So, anyway, take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.